Yo, what's cracking, guys? You read that title correctly. Well, they titled it The Meaning Behind Shauna's Tattoos. It's I Am Shauna Ray. It's about a girl who acts eight years old and is three foot eight. I think I'm going to title it Shauna Ray's Tattoos Suck No Matter How They Look. And trust me, I can talk about this. I have head tattoos. My mom's like, you look like a piece of shit. I'm like, no. Alarm clock. I don't watch these before I talk shit about them, obviously, but this is how TLC tries to entice you to get you to watch their hour-long TV show of I Am Shauna Ray about her life that is genuinely not really more different than anybody else's. She's just short. Actually, the main problem is how she acts, which has nothing to do with any of the problems she has, except her parents. Her parents are the problem. But yeah, let's find out the meaning behind her tattoos. This should be fun. If you're like, why don't you have a video of talking about the meaning behind your tattoos? I do. I have it somewhere. I don't know how to do the thing YouTubers do where they're like, click at the top right. It'll link you to a video. I have no idea. Just search it. Most of the reasons are it's like, it's cool. I hope that's every reason for her. It's like, oh yeah, I really liked trees today. Are we taking bets on how many average white bitch tattoos she has? Out of the percentage of tattoos, I don't know how many she has. What percentage is average white bitch? And I'm talking about the bird that breaks off into feathers. Talking about trees, flowers, anything written in Japanese. Mine says, Daini Koku. <laughs> okay, before we hop into this, did you guys know I do stand-up comedy and post every single set over on my second channel, youtube.com slash Mark Harsky? I have a series called The Comedian that follows me doing open mics to the fucking top. And in the series, like, I vlog in the car talking about the set I'm about to do, then I show the entire set, then I break down how the set went. I don't think anybody's ever documented an entire stand-up career before, and I think people are interested what goes on behind the scenes of stand-up comedy. So if you want to see some shit like that, youtube.com slash Mark Harsky. <laughs> but let's make fun of things that are super meaningful to Shauna Ray. She deserves it. So, I mean, this would be like the first general mock-up. How do you feel about making one of the A's the actual cherry? Oh, that would work better. How's yeah. that? That's cool. So we'll Plus, it'll take up less space. Oh, yeah, this is really good filler content I need to hear. Any more creative ideas, genius? Yeah, we'll scrap this guy, and we'll do another one real quick. Each of my tattoos have a meaning. I never want to get a tattoo without a meaning. That's what you say now. But after you hit like 11, you're like, I think I like giraffes today. I'm going to get a giraffe neck tattoo. I'm literally getting a gorilla here because I want it. The first one is for my cancer. It's two elephants making the cancer symbol. That's a real stretch with the cancer symbol with those elephants. You're really reaching with this one because most people are just going to think you're fucking dumb. What are the elephants for? Cancer. Do elephants get cancer a lot? No, 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 their trunks make the cancer symbol, idiot. Isn't it fucking obvious? Sorry, I'm aggressive today, I don't know why. And this one on my forearm is two doves facing each other. Birds, boom! Fuck, I wish I said doves. I could edit myself in the beginning and make myself look more right, but that wouldn't be fair. TLC would never do that. Actually, they edit to make people look worse. Factual. It's television, okay? They have to. It's based off um, a jewelry box I have for my grandmother who passed away when I was 10. She passed away when you were 10? You didn't even know that, bitch. Also, the tattoos aren't bad, but they're not great. Step that up. They don't give kids discount prices at the tattoo parlor. Come on, you should have a ton. The one on my ribs is just a stencil of a polar bear. It's my favorite animal, and... Oh, that's weird. My dead homie has a panda bear on the side of his side. Maybe that's foreshadowing that she, too, will die soon. I think I'm like a polar bear because they look so cute and cuddly, but they actually are so, like introverted because they don't see other polar bears um that they will attack any other polar bear they see <laughs> so i think i'm the same way with humans oh because you never see another one that looks like you also she said all of her tattoos have meaning that's the only reason she's gonna get tattoos and she's like i have a polar bear because i'm like a polar bear oh really you feast on sea lions does your diet consist of blubber Polar bears are like the most vicious fucking animal. This little child probably thinks they drink Coca-Cola and slide down slopes. I don't know why I think about this often, but I'm like, yo, if you see a polar bear, you're fucked. It's not like a black bear where you could just fucking yell at it and it runs away. Like, polar bear, you could have a gun. It will eat you in front of your friends because there's no food anywhere except for you. You know what? I think polar bears are behind those Coca-Cola ads, dude. Trying to make themselves look nicer than they actually are so they could eat more people. Shana's like a polar bear because, you know, she's cute and she, she seems very sweet, but she can just devastate you. She's ferocious. With one swipe. 
Really, I bet you if you put her in a room with my Shih Tzu, he'd fucking kill her. And my dog is useless. He's still alive. By the way, I'd go get him, but he's sleeping in my bed, my king-size bed. Tiny little Shih Tzu. It's adorable. I said king-size to flex, but also to show how big the bed is compared to the small dog. Ah, oh, yeah. Our super fragile daughter is like a fucking polar bear who should take you out in one swipe. What does this even mean? Just say you like polar bears. That's why you got the tat. That's fine. Polar bear's my spirit animal. Like, this sounds more dumb. Like, if I got a T-Rex tattoo, and if I was like, I wanted to be a T-Rex when I was younger, you'd be like, are you fucking retarded? But if I was like, I like T-Rexes, you'd be like, nah, you'd probably still think I'm retarded, actually. How many tattoos do you have? One big one. I hate that fucking question. This is how you know she is not a tatted up person. I'm getting this feeling that she acts like one of those girls who acts like they're really tatted up. You know, she like hashtags tatted girl on her Instagram when you could count how many tattoos they have with just using your fingers. Because if you had a substantial amount of tattoos, one, you stop counting. Two, they eventually all blend in together. And then stupid ass people will be like, does each finger count as a separate tattoo? No. The session for the complete part. Just one massive. <laughs> At it, this point, I never. Did it start out that way? Um, no, I got my first tattoo on my 18th birthday. My mom wasn't very happy about it, but it's a lot more acceptable now than it used to yeah. be back then, so. What another stupid fucking question. I let him talk a little bit longer so it wasn't me pausing it right away. Did it all start out that way? Yeah, he started with his entire body completely full. What is this, the Yakuza? That's how my mom is. My mom's like, well, you're, you're tiny and you already curse and you already drag attention to you and now you're going to get a tattoo and people are going to stare at you and point at it. And I'm like, but I want it. Yeah, people are already staring and pointing at your daughter. I don't But she is right. It will attract more attention. I didn't know that until I got hand tattoos. And then I went to the gas station and the fat gas station register lady is like, what do your tattoos say? I told her and she's like, I have tattoos. I'm like, I don't give a shit. People will constantly, all the time, come up and ask if they could take pictures of my head tattoos. And I'm not complaining, my ego fucking loves it. I think my first tattoo was a connection to independence in a way. Setting my personality almost with my mom because I had to convince her that it was going to be okay even though it's on a childlike body that I understand I might get judgment, but I've gotten judgment my entire life, so why can't I do what I want to do? But that's a stupid reason. Instantly, once the person finds out you're 22, then they're not going to be judging you for being an 8-year-old with a tattoo. This doesn't make sense. Obviously, your mom just doesn't like tattoos, which makes sense because she's an old white lady. I felt like my first tattoo was me getting my independence. Yeah, maybe you should try more adult things. You sat in a chair and let somebody color on you. Fucking go get a DUI or something. Um, how do you like the idea of something like that? I do like that sketch. Um, where's... You want to see the first one? Yeah. Right, Honestly, right if I could just take this home and show it to my parents, because it is for my mother at the end of the day, because it is her dad. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, you don't have to take it home. You don't even have to use a carrier pigeon. You could take a picture of it and send it to your fucking mom. God, this, this might be the worst episode I've ever seen in my entire life. Can anybody read what that fucking says? It's nice handwriting, but, you know, Cursive died 10 years ago. Take this, show it to your family, and if you have any questions or anything that you want me to do or change, whatever, just let me know. I'm open to changing it, and it's all about you. You're not getting the tattoo right now? You're an adult. How can you hold back from getting that tattoo right this second? Who needs their approval? Fuck your parents. They're going to die before the tattoo fades away. Anytime I've gotten a sketch done, it's been right before the tattoo, but I'm not eight years old, so. Yeah. I'll walk you out. You want a T-shirt? Sure. I'll take free stuff. <laughs> The way he said you want a t-shirt was like she's eight years old. I wonder how many forms of identification this dude had to see before he would tattoo her. Every person presents themselves with a different set of complexities, but her willingness to verbalize what she does and doesn't want allows me to really get a good handle of what's actually possible with her anatomy. She's not asking for anything that's hard to do or would complicate anything at all, so she, she's good. I can't wait to do it. She's good at telling you what she likes and doesn't like, and you can have the tattoo work with her body. She doesn't, like, have abnormalities, dude. It's not like a fat person where you're like, ah, this is going to be hard to shape because your tricep isn't a tricep, it's a dip. She's literally just a normal, white, short girl. And if you're thinking, does this guy have to pick apart everything everybody says? Yes. Yes, I do. Look at the about for this channel. When you figure out what you want to do, let me know. Yep, I'm sure we will see you in the future. I'll walk you out, I'll give you a card, and you can give us a call. Thank you.
The tattoo consultation with Big Joel went very well. I do plan on coming back soon for my tattoo. I also plan on taking my mother to get this tattoo. She's not the biggest fan of my tattoos, but it's for her, so I hope she'll change her mind. She won't. She's gonna disown you, and you're gonna be on the streets, ha ha. Damn, that actually made me wanna go get a tattoo. Face tattoo? Serious, I'm doing it. Fuck it, why not? We're already there, we're pretty close. A strip club almost didn't let me in once because they were like, that's close to a face tat. I'm like, who do you think is spending money here? Also, there's a bunch of places in Chicago that I'm not allowed to go into. You know what, you'd think that, you'd be like, that would make sense even without the tattoos because you're a piece of shit, but it's just because of the tats. I'm like, it's a flower on my neck, dude, isn't that? They're like, we're worried about gangs. I'm like, but my fingernails are painted. I'm gonna get in a fight because the dude's gonna touch my ass. Oh, but wait, what were we talking about, Shauna? Okay, yeah, her tattoos suck. Not cool. They're like tattoos that an eight-year-old would get. Wow. Let me go home and show this tattoo to my parents, see what they think about it. Let me show people I know that don't like tats, ask them what they think about this tat. And they didn't even tell us what the new tattoo was. I just know that there's a cherry involved. Is it her mom's name? Is her mom gonna die soon? Only, only for television purposes, that's it. Also, so Shauna could finally be free, you know? I think she should get a tramp stamp. And it just says, I'm not eight. <laughs> or it just says, pedophile. All my tattoos have meaning, polar bear. So me, fucking idiot. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching and listening everywhere. I appreciate every single one of you. If I've ever made you laugh and you want to help support this channel further, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. That's the best way to directly support because every video gets instantly demonetized. It's because YouTube fucking hates swears. And it's not because, like, if I stopped swearing in the first 30 seconds or minute, that would not help because it's just a robot that listens to the whole video instantly. And I don't think not swearing would help because I'm talking shit about people. That's why like most YouTubers mute and bleep out swears though, but when I hear a bleep noise, I genuinely get so mad. And it goes against like everything I believe in with freedom of speech and shit like that. But I don't think it'll last forever because everybody swears. I think the PC, the fake PC culture will end because this is not a realistic world. Like everybody swears all the time. And if you don't, go fuck yourself. <laughs> What's wrong with you? How do you describe things? So like I said, if I've ever made you laugh and you want to help support this channel and fight back against YouTube's cute little swear policy, patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. But if you can or don't want to, I totally understand. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's keep that algorithm going, baby. I fucking love you guys. Mwah.